Jeremiah G. Hamilton was a savvy Wall Street financier who, 10 years before the Civil War, became known as New York's only black American millionaire. By 1875, he accumulated a fortune of $2 million. His exploits first generated headlines in 1828 after he eluded Haitian authorities by hiding out in a fishing boat in Port-au-Prince Harbor. After it was discovered, he was transporting counterfeit coins to Haiti. Hamilton was sentenced to be shot, but reportedly escaped with more than $5,000 in counterfeit coin. Later, he was accused of making $5 million by taking advantage of fire victims after New York's Great Fire of 1835, which destroyed most of the buildings on the southeast tip of Manhattan. This led many of his white business adversaries to label him the Prince of Darkness, while others simply referred to him as Nigger Hamilton. Hamilton would also lock horns with famous American industrialist Cornelius Vanderbilt over control of the Nicaragua Transit Company. There was only one man who ever fought the Commodore to the end, and that was Jeremiah Hamilton, stated one newspaper obituary to Vanderbilt on January 4, 1877. The obituary went on to say that although Vanderbilt did not fear Hamilton, because he never feared anybody, without a shadow of a doubt, the Commodore respected him.